everybody. My name is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. I am excited today because this is my first ever Sterling Ink order. Um, I had purchased this a long time ago, I feel. It's like the beginning of May and I didn't realize the cutoff date. So I thought I was getting May, but this is actually the June subscription. So this is the little die cut sticker that you get on the outside of the package. And I just took it out of its cardboard mailer and I'm ready to open it up. So I'm gonna gently, gently see if I can peel it off. See if it works. Kind of. <laughs> I tried. There we go. Okay. So I ordered the deluxe kit. So it does come with everything, um, including the stamps. I know that that's supposed to be like a newer thing. So let's take a look at what we get. Um, there are two separate packages. Let's open the vellum first. So this, like I said, it's the June kit, and this one had lace on it, so, oh, sorry, it's so noisy in here. My two kids are here, and so this is the free printables that you can get. So this is a printable. It does have lace on it. Now, in here, looks like you have this nice cardboard to keep your vellum from getting bent, which is really nice. So you have a plain vellum and then you have this vellum. It's exactly the same, but with the lace behind it. So that is really pretty. Um, very nice, actually. I'm, I'm not really into florals or vellum. Well, I love vellum. I just haven't never really been into florals, but this vellum is gorgeous. Um, and it feels like I have personally, myself, I have two different kinds of vellum I purchased from Amazon. One's a really heavyweight vellum that I use for my really nice um, dashboards, my planner. And then another one is even lighter than this. And I use it to print my free printables and I put them in my Hobonichi. So this is a mix of in between. It's just, it's just nice. It's not too, too much. It's not, uh, it's not too sturdy, but it, it's not too flimsy where you will bend it right away. So that's really nice. I really like that. All right. So the other elements you get is this, is it E or is it B6? I think it's B6 size. So this fits the common planner that, um, that Sterling Ink sells. So this is a calendar and then you have the days of the week. And I did get the transparent kit. So these are transparent stickers, almost kind of like washi tape paper, but not, it's weird. Um, speaking of washi tape paper, I'm excited for the new um, Planners Anonymous um, journaling kit, which is um, rub-ons and washi tape paper. It's so gonna be really interesting. But yeah, so these are the days and you get five weeks, which is, they're smaller than I thought they would be. They kind of feel like washi tape paper. Very cool. Okay, and then the other stickers are in this little package. Let's see what goodies we get. I'm excited. There's a freebie in here. Um, so here's June. That's really pretty. They have a lot of a green aspect, I notice. A lot of green in there. These are the stamps. These are like really cool. I'm glad I got them. So I use these, anything that is a transparent sticker I've been using on my Hobonichi. So they're going to be perfect. Um, again, this is my first kit. I've been purchasing like from various shops. My favorite one so far, I'm pretty sure is gonna be, um, is it something petite paper based out of Portugal? Amazing, like amazing quality. So yeah, so these are really cool. Like they're stamps, but you know, stamp stickers they are so cool. I love that, right? And then you get these larger stickers. So they've got silver foil on them, just little dots everywhere. This one is a couch with a blanket on it. This is like a breakfast table. This is a record player. And then this is a bathtub, very vintage feel. Um, and then 
And then, so you get, these are two of the same thing, I believe. Is it two or three? Let's see. Why do you get so many? Okay, so these are the small ones. They all seem pretty small, actually. These are the florals. These are floral. This one doesn't have any, um, any foil on it. These two have foil. These two do not. I want to say if they're like the exact same thing, but this one has no foil. I think they're similar, if not exact. But those are very pretty. And these, this one has like a straight edge where you can put on the edges of your journal. Even these tiny stickers are actually cut out. Like the tiny little yellow flo like florals, they're actually cut out where you can put them, place them with tweezers in your notebook. They're absolutely tiny. Okay, and then this one's really pretty. This is a big window scene. It's hard to see, I find, on the translucent paper. I don't know how well you guys were able to see those stickers. Okay, and these are your date dots. So these are tiny little squares. So you can use those. Um, I think I would use them probably in my budget book, maybe. I don't know, because I don't know what where I would use them. I don't really use stuff like that in my Hobonichi. I just use the dates that are provided. Okay, and then you get some more of these. So these are the same. They're both foiled. You get two sheets. This is a washi strip here. That's really pretty. Definitely washi paper. So very cool. They're different than the tra like the transparent stickers that I got um, from Hello Petite Paper. I don't know. It's hard to explain the difference, but they are different. It's a different material. But in a good way. It's not, definitely not a bad thing. They're just really, really neat. Um, these are picture frames, so I think this is part of the upgrade as well. Hmm. Those are really cool. I would definitely use those in my Hobonichi. Okay, and then these are like paper rip cutouts. Those are super cool as well. I love that. I like the color of these. So it's like a vintage and then you can definitely see the green tones in there with the daisies and the floral. And then another page of floral without the foil. Yeah, I just, I can't. Oh no, okay, so these are tiny strip stickers. What are these for? And they're just like small ones. I wonder what I would use those for. This one I'm unsure about. I'd have to see on Instagram or her website to see what these are used for. Maybe somebody can tell me. I don't know what I would use those for. Because I don't have a planner where I would, in like spots like that, I have, I've kind of veered more towards um, functional planning in recent months because I am using my Franklin Covey. Okay, um, and then this little guy here, this cute little brown envelope. Let's see what's in here. Ooh, cute. Okay, so you get another of these June stickers. You get these calendars. So this is just like a little card with the um, information on the back, like a thank you card. This is apparently a sticker, a little calendar sticker. And then, okay, a little die cut. So a die cut of the record player, which is super cute, so adorable. I love those daisies on there. Are these tabs? Yeah, so they must be trend, oh, they're white. Okay, so white tabs to go in your book. So I might, I mean, you get four of them. So I could use those in my, um, I do have a Hobonichi Weeks, but I'm using that for my son to track his like health information. So maybe I'll use one in there. I could use one in my, my cousin, my Hobonichi there. Interesting. And then the last little tidbit here is a tiny little freebie and to match this month's kit. That is very cool. And there are a lot of stickers here. I am surprised for the amount that you pay. Um, I do live in Canada. I live in Alberta. I think for the quality that you get, like this is very interesting uh, material that they're printed on compared to the other ones I received. It is definitely more of a washi tape paper than it, I would say a transparent sticker. Um, I want to share with this with you guys and just kind of compare. I'm trying to do this all one-handed because my baby is on my lap, so I apologize. Um, 
Let's see here. So I've got a variety of different ones. So these are from Hello Petite Paper. And the material is like see-through. So you can actually see through it completely. These ones are definitely more cloudy. Like, and these are the transparent matte. So this is, I'd say, washi tape paper. These are translucent stickers, okay? Um, these are the ones I've been using in my personal, like my Hobonichi. So I also have these ones from Sadie stickers. And I think um, Sadie stickers are a bit more pricey even than Hello Petite paper. But these ones <clears throat> are really nice quality. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell. I know this was a haul for Sterling Ink, but I just wanted to kind of compare. So you can like literally see right through that. I mean, it doesn't hurt that it's a light color as well, but yeah, no, it's just interesting. I just wanted to compare all of these stickers because this is pretty new to me. These are the Harriet Wright stickers here. These actually came from Britain. Um... Yeah, so same, these are all similar here. Like this paper is new to me from Sterling Ink. It is not the same as any of the other stickers that I currently have. So I'm kind of interested now to compare the material from Planners Anonymous and see how that washi tape paper feels in con comparison to Sterling Ink. So that's just something to point out, but I'm really happy with this. Like this is a lot of stickers. I think this will keep me going in my Hobonichi for the entire month, I hope. <laughs> and plus I do have all my other ones to kind of see me through, but these are really cool. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and checking out these, this uh, sub box. Um, let me know in the comments. Do you have, have you ever tried out Sterling Ink? I heard about Sterling Ink from Marsha from Buy Sell Plan and I was really interested in trying it out and seeing what the products were like so like, give me a shout out in the comments whether you have tried it before. Um, I know right now her common book, her common planner is really really popular and everyone's so excited about it. I think I'm ready to go down that route because I still love my Franklin <laughs> binder so I'm not willing to change my actual planner. I'm happy with my Hobonichi cousin for journaling. And uh, yeah, th that's where these will get much use. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you are new, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell notification button to receive updates when I post new content. And give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.